Let's assume that the fixed point described in the problem statement is the origin and therefore the straight line passing through this point can be assumed to be y is equal to mx. Let's also assume that the two given straight lines in the problem statement have the equations y is equal to m1x plus c1 and y is equal to m2x plus c2. Now let's represent this information on the Cartesian plane. We have the line y is equal to mx passing through the origin and we have the two given straight lines y is equal to m1x plus c1 and y is equal to m2x plus c2. Let's assume that these lines cut the line y is equal to mx at the points a and b respectively. Let's assume that the midpoint of the segment AB is the point P that has the coordinates HK. Now we begin by determining the coordinates of point A which is the point of intersection of the line y is equal to mx with the line y is equal to m1x plus c1. Equating the value of y from both equations, we get mx is equal to m1x plus c1, which implies that x is equal to c1 upon m minus m1, and therefore y, which is equal to mx, is equal to m times c1 upon m minus m1. Therefore, the coordinates of point A are c1 upon m minus m1 and mc1 upon m minus m1. Replacing c1 with c2 and m1 with m2, the coordinates of point B are c2 upon m minus m2 and mc2 upon m minus m2. Now the point P with coordinates HK is the midpoint of the segment AB. Therefore the abscissa H is equal to half of in brackets C1 upon M minus M1 plus C2 upon M minus M2 and the ordinate K is equal to half of, in brackets, mc1 upon m minus m1 plus mc2 upon m minus m2. Multiply both equations by 2 and let's represent the first equation by 1 and the second equation by 2. Now multiply the first equation by m and subtract the second equation, we get 2 times in brackets mh minus k is equal to mc1 upon m minus m1 plus mc2 upon m minus m2 minus in brackets mc1 upon m minus m1 plus mc2 upon m minus m2. Notice that all the terms on the right hand side cancel out and therefore the right hand side is equal to 0 which implies that mh minus k is equal to 0 and therefore m is equal to k upon h. Substituting in equation 1 we get 2h is equal to c1 upon k upon h minus m1 plus c2 upon k upon h minus m2. This can be written as 2h is equal to c1h upon k minus m1h plus c2h upon k minus m2h. Notice that h cancels across the left hand side and the right hand side. 
Now the locus of the point P with coordinates h, k can be obtained by replacing h with x and k with y in the above equation. And therefore the required locus of the point P is c1 upon y minus m1x plus c2 upon y minus m2x is equal to 2. And this is the required answer.